when, whenever I run live boot camps, it's never, hey, do you want to go have a drink at my place? Okay, you're like, hey, do you want to leave the club with me? It's, let's do such and such question in that frame. We should do such and such question in that frame. That applies over text as well. So you basically like lay out the frame, lay out what it is you want to do, and then you ask a question in there. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, I wanna give you two special texting techniques that are going to greatly enhance the odds of her complying and going along with what it is that you propose. Just a way to kind of control the frame. Okay, before we get into that, if you are not ready, already a subscriber, please subscribe below. Make sure to hit the notification bell. New videos every day, usually at 2 p.m. Eastern. Okay, but at least every day. So, technique number one. Oh, and if you have interest in my uh, uh, eight-week mentorship program, click the link in the description. We are accepting people into that. Again, a few people just graduated. So, uh, the first technique is called the decision close. This comes from sales. Okay, so when I frame girls to come over straight to the house, I'll say, like, do you like wine? They say yes. I say, cool, we could split a bottle of wine in my new place and see how the chemistry is. Smiley face. Now, here's the decision close. Do you prefer red or white? Okay, you're basically giving them two options. And the way that works is both of which they choose involve coming over to your house or doing the thing that you want to do. Okay, when you're pulling from a nightclub, um, we could go back and, and rip some shots real quick in my place and come right back. Uh, do you like whiskey or, or, do, or do you drink vodka? Oh, yeah, I love whiskey. Okay, cool. Let's go drink whiskey and we'll come right back. Okay, or red wine. Okay, cool. Let's plan for, you know, whatever the day and time you set up. Okay, and it doesn't mean you're going to get a guaranteed yes. But it is a way to frame things so that you can now, it, basically the two options you're giving are both work in your favor, okay? And they do this in sales, like if someone's going around setting appointments, for instance, for door-to-door -door sales, he'll give the little spiel, okay, uh, here's why you should be interested in whatever it is they're selling, whether it be home security or water treatment or whatever. Here's like some statistics. Here's why you should care about this. We could have someone come through, which is a salesman, and they don't say that, but we could have someone come through and give you a presentation of the different problems around with your water that are the different, you know, risks in the, in this area in regards to break-ins and, and vandalism and this kind of stuff for a home security system. Um, what's better for you tonight between six and eight or tomorrow between 12 and two. Okay. You're basically giving them two time slots, which are very soon. Okay. Either that night or the next day. Cause remember investment is fading over time, just like a, a phone number lead that you're texting. And then the person chooses one of those, and then now you have a sales appointment set. You don't say, hey, would you like to make an appointment for someone to come get the presentation? Because then what happens? They can say, oh, no, actually, I'm not that interested. Okay, they can say, oh, I don't know if this is for me. And they can still say that when you say, like, are you free tonight or tomorrow? But you're going to get higher chances of getting a, a, you know, them coming into that frame by posing it in that, in that way. Okay, and back to that example I used where I say, um, do you prefer red or white? About half, okay, I found about 50% will just pick red or white and then it's set and they come straight to the house. The other half will give either a comfort objection or a safety objection or, or hookup objection actually. They'll say, sorry, hook, uh, hookup objection or safety objection. So they'll say like, oh, what if you're a serial killer? I don't go over strangers' houses. You say, LOL, I'm really laid back. Don't worry, bring pepper spray for that worried LMAO. It's a little side note of how you complete that sequence. Um, and if it's a hookup objection, you say, don't worry, I have no sexual expectations, okay? Moving on, principle number two. Um, this one is going to be ending, you know, ending a paragraph, ending a, a series of texts with a question that locks them into the frame, okay? So what, let me give you an example of that. So now that I don't drink anymore, I just follow up with a question that brings her into the frame. So I say, um, we could, we could uh, relax and talk more at my new apartment, beautiful view, okay? And I, and I put maybe have a drink, okay? But I'm not gonna be, I'll, I'll drink like a 0% beer or water or whatever. But I say maybe have a drink because a lot of the girls a lot of times wanna have a drink. And then I say, do you need me to call you an Uber? Okay, in Brazil, question mark. In Brazil, a lot of girls don't have cars and this and that. And it's, it's just like standard practice here when they go on a date, the guy usually calls them an Uber. So I'll end the sentence with that so she reads through the whole thing and then she's thinking, okay, do I need an Uber? So then about half of them will say like, yes, I do. Or they'll say, no, I have a car. Okay. 
but you're you're bringing you're drawing them into the frame better that way. Okay, let me give you another example. In the nightclubs, um, you say like, "Oh, are you are you good at beer pong?" Right? And like beer pong is a American drinking game. You're basically throwing ping pong balls and, and you hit shots and the other person has to drink those cups. Whoever hits all the cups first wins. And so you would say something like, hey, do you like beer pong? Or are you good at beer pong? Right. So either she says yes and you say, OK, cool. You can be my partner. Right. And you grab the wing. Hey, um, she's going to be my partner in beer pong. When do you guys want to go? OK, so, so now you're like in the frame. These are like very f powerful frame techniques in terms of either verbals in, a, in an interaction or texting and bringing them into the frame that way. Okay, so when you're talking in the frame, when, whenever I run live boot camps, it's never, hey, do you want to go have a drink at my place? Okay, you're like, hey, do you want to leave the club with me? It's let's do such and such question in that frame. We should do such and such question in that frame. That applies over text as well. So you basically like lay out the frame, lay out what it is you want to do, and then you ask a question in there. Okay, like say a girl's like, oh, I don't know, um, I don't know if I can come over right now because it's, you know I have to be up early. Okay, I promise I won't keep you out late. How soon can you be ready? Okay, notice I'm not saying notice I won't keep you out late. Uh, you know, is that cool with you? Give me a yes or no. You know, and th this isn't meant to be like uh, manipulative or coercive or anything like that. It's just language techniques that are more persuasive. Okay, so <clears throat> you're just kind of like leading them in that direction. You answer the objection and you ask question in the frame. Oh, don't worry, I won't keep you out that late. I promise. Wink face. <clears throat> How soon can you be ready? Or what time should I call the Uber? You make statements in the frame, assuming they're already on board. Okay, so when, whenever we talk about like pulling from a nightclub on live programs, okay, me and the, my old business partner back in the day, we would always say like, assume you guys already have the plans, assume she's already agreed to come back. So it's not like, hey, do you want to come back? It's, uh, we should go and do this. When we go and do this, what is it that you like to drink? When we go and do this, like who's going to be on whose team for beer pong, okay? Um, like, yeah, can you start getting ready. What time can you be ready, okay? Do you prefer red or white? So to recap, you're going to be using decision closes where you give two options or it can be more than two. But basically, like the options are all like working where they comply with your frame and, and they agree with what it is that you're setting forth. Then the other technique is to set forth a frame and then ask a question within that frame. So when they answer the question, they're already in the frame. Okay? And I went through a bunch of examples with that. And, and it can translate to anything. You, you can say, that, say you have a hookah back at your house. Uh, do you like to smoke hookah? Yes. Cool, I have a hookah. We should just go and, and chill for a little bit and smoke hookah. Uh, what time do you want to get out of here? And you're either going to get like, oh, we can go in a half hour. She's going to give you something being brought into the frame or you're going to get an objection. Okay, And I, and I very thoroughly um, explain exactly how to deal with every objection in cold approach, in my products, in my mentorship. Okay, And I go over very thoroughly how to deal with all, my, all the objections over text. There can be comfort objections, safety objections, hookup objections, logistics objections, <clears throat> et cetera. I define what they all are. You basically draw them into the frame so you have the highest chances of them giving a yes. If they give objections, you deal with those objections. If they stop replying, there's there's messages to deal with non-replies. So this way you are optimizing and making the most efficient and effective your sequence for proposing doing things that require compliance, okay? Very powerful video. I would highly encourage you guys to rewatch this. There's some really good nuggets in here. Uh, on that note, if you want access to the keys to the castle, so to speak, my whole system from A to Z start to finish. Uh, it's an eight-week program. Okay, the first four weeks we go over lead acquisition, online game, night game, which is two weeks, day game. Okay, then you get a solid lead flow, about 15 to 20 leads per week. Week five is texting. You plug in the text scripts, and you get the text scripts up front, by the way. You don't have to wait till week five. Plug into the text scripts. Now you're getting a whole bunch of regular dates. I show you how to run the dates to bring the girl home. I show you how to close the house to get the hookup. And then I show you how to do the retention in order to keep her around and see her on a regular basis. Okay, the link is in the description. You can get on a free 30 minute call with me personally. I'll show you a customized game plan, how we can take whatever level you're at, even if you're advanced, and make it to an elite level in eight weeks. Okay. If you have not already subscribed, please subscribe below. New videos every day, usually at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of amazing stuff to come. 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.